Right, in this video we've got a continuous uniform distribution x is u a comma b has a probability density constant in f of x f of x is 1 over b minus a x being between a and b and 0 otherwise find the community distribution function of f of x so f of x is 1 over b minus a x being between a and b and 0 otherwise the community distribution function is given f of x is given by integrating f of x from some starting value which will be a in our case to some arbitrary value t f of x dx so integrating we're going to get from a to t 1 over b minus a dx this a is the starting value for the distribution i.e. this value here if we integrate that, we're just going to get x over b minus a from a to t. Substituting in, we get 1 minus b minus a, t minus a, and that's going to give me t minus a over b minus a. Now, if we were to do f of b, so put in b instead of t, we're going to have b minus a over b minus a, which is equal to 1 which is what we expect for a community distribution function when we get to the last value and need to have a, the probability of certainty, which is 1. So, writing out the f of x in terms of x, capital F of x for community distribution 0 for x less than a, x minus a over b minus a for x between a and b, and 1 for x greater than b. Okay, this has been a video to show you how to find the community distribution function for a continuous uniform distribution. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.